The Recordings dashboard provides a list of all the visitor sessions that have been recorded. Up here you can access the settings and you'll be able to disable or enable your site to be tracked. You can either re start recording the sessions when a visitor lands anywhere on the site or if there's specific um, pages that you want to track, like uh, you want to see the path once someone starts from your blog, for example, then you can um, select this option here and enter in the specific URL that you want the sessions to be started from. You have also have the option to mask elements. By default, we uh, mask all input fields, but if there's other elements that uh, you want to mask, you can enter that here. You're able to filter your recordings as well to help you better find the ones that you're interested in um, watching. You can filter by browser, country, date range, device, a bunch of other information. So let's say you wanna um, see just how people in Chrome are interacting. You can apply that filter and that'll see over here, it like filtered that down. And you're able to save filters and quickly access uh, your save filters here. So let's take a look at this. Um, here, this save filter for high priority recordings is of visitors that visited in the last seven days, visited the home page, and viewed at least three pages or more. Let's get into a video. So this is an example of a visitor that's on um, Chrome and on a mobile device. And down here you have the option to like autoplay the next videos, skip your pauses, and adjust the speed. And in the bar down here, the gray areas are areas of like inactivity, and then the red means that they are taking action, scrolling, and clicking around. And you have the option to share, share the video by copying that URL and sharing it with someone, as well as favoriting it. You can also favorite videos um, from the dashboard here, and they will also show up in your under your save filters.